It's Friday the 13th. That can be good or bad depending on how you view superstitions. Athletes notorious for finding little things that give them a mental edge. We visited the Rigby Trojans this week as they prepare to take on Sandpoint in the 4A state semis tomorrow up north with a 1 o'clock kickoff. A few players said they aren't that superstitious, but the Trojans do have a dark night looking after them. I've always had this Batman blanket that we've been carrying around since we were freshmen. We kind of, we kind of, uh, it's kind of just a little superstition we have. We think we think we, that helps us win. We haven't won without it. We've lost without it a few times, but we, we like to bring it. It's kind of our security blanket, I guess you could say. So, uh, yeah, we have we have that. We're not superstitious, but we are a little stitious, as Michael Scott says. So. While Batman has his place among the Trojans, one player has to get a little help from President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, hoping he can drop dimes on the football field. I actually put a dime in my, in my right sock every game. Not every practice, but every game. Same sock. It's got to be heads up on the right side. Um, just for good luck. I found it sophomore year, and we won that game, and I've done it ever since. I just sleep on the right side of the bed at night, on game night. Every night it's left, not, left side of the bed, but other than that, it's kind of... Kinda, in my own mind, I have to keep it there. So the Trojans take on Sandpoint tomorrow. They don't have to worry about Friday the 13th anymore. The Bulldogs lost to Blackfoot in Bingham County in last season's quarterfinals. Sugar Salem takes on top seed Emmett tomorrow in the Treasure Valley. That's a 3A semifinal. And Raft River and Prairie are looking to move on to the 1A D1 state championships. They kick off at 2 o'clock in Raft River.